The Dark Lord knows I serve him, Bellatrix. Then swear to it. Make the unbreakable vow. Will you, Severus Snape, swear to watch over Draco? Will you swear that if Draco fails, you will carry out the Dark Lord's orders? I will. Hi, Ginny. Harry, you've been chosen. You're Gryffindor Quidditch captain. I knew you'd get it. You've not flown all summer, though, so you'd better get some practice. Come on, Mr. Chosen One. You can use my broom. Thanks. He should be around here somewhere. I'll see you later. But honestly, Ron, all we need to do is bring them out. You could have done it already if you hadn't had a fourth helping of dinner. I was starving. When did you get here? About half an hour ago. Didn't Ron tell you? I would have, but you've not let me get a word in. If you'd done these jobs for your mum, I wouldn't have needed to speak to you. Mum wants us to get rid of these cauldrons Fred and George had left in the garage. I'll give you a hand. Oh, oh, that one smells far worse than the others. That's it. Well done. Oh, no. Moving them must have stirred everything up. Quick! Chuck them in the pond! You can't throw them in there! Safer than washing them. Who knows what friend George mixed in there? Exactly! Just think of the... the fish! 
<laughs> well, I don't know what happens if a fish swallows love potion. Do you? Maybe they'll fall in love with you. Hermione, bloop, bloop. I love you. Bloop. Oh yes, Ronald. How very grown up of you. Come on, Harry. Let's get rid of those cauldrons before Mum starts moaning. Wingardium Leviosa! Wish we could do this after every potions lesson. You did cast that quite well. Great! Let's get rid of the rest of them. Mum would have made us clean those out by hand. We'd have still been scrubbing them at Christmas. If you just take the time to learn some cleaning spells. Who wants to spend their time cleaning things up? This was much more fun. Why is Draco sneaking around? I don't know, but that leads to Borgin and Burns. Draco's a Death Eater! It's an initiation ceremony. Why would you know who make that idiot a Death Eater? Why else would Malfoy be in Borgin and Burns? I'm going to find out. And if I use the invisibility cloak, he'll never know I was listening in. Will he? I want to check something. Petrificus Fatalis! Sneaking about listening in, were you, Potter? I knew I'd seen someone climb up there. Well, <clears throat> enjoy, enjoy the, the trip, trip back, back to, to London, London and Potter. Potter. I was trying to find out what Malfog is up to. I'm sure he's a Death Eater. I was wearing my invisibility cloak, but he must have seen me when I climbed onto the luggage rack. 
Maybe he saw your Raxperts. My... what? Raxperts. Was he wearing Spectre Specs? You can see Raxperts through them. That's how I found you. Your brain's full of them. Right. Let's get to the castle. We're probably already in trouble for being late. Okay. Although I'm worried about tripping over things in the dark. Maybe we should use Lumos. What's that? How exciting! A mystery! And we've only just got back. Let's pick it up! It's a crack! That's nice. I wonder if there are any more of them. Let's go and find out. I got another one. Oh, well done! That's true. That's nice. We could make a sort of collection of them. Dumbledore was saying his speech this year. As you know, each day, dark forces are attempting to penetrate this castle. For this reason, I have agreed that the Dueling Club will restart this year. Now, please What's join me to in welcoming hand? Horace Slughorn, who will resume his old position of Potions Master. Meanwhile, the position of Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher will be assumed by Professor Snape. No! How can Dumbledore let him after all he's done? I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Mischief managed. Well, there's one good thing. The defense against the dark arts jobs jinxed. Snape will be gone by the end of the year, and personally, I'm keeping my fingers crossed for another death. I would have thought you would be at potions, Mr. Potter. Or is it no longer your ambition to become an Aura? I was told I had to get an outstanding in my OWL. And so you did when Professor Snape was teaching the subject. But Professor Slughorn is perfectly happy to accept students with exceeds expectations at OWL, however. Brilliant! I'll head there straight away. But I don't want to do potions. I'm dead awful at potions. I don't know how to get there with half the castle locked by the auras. I'd ask nearly head to Snick. He can still get around, so he knows all the shortcuts. Harry! 
bloody hell. And how are we this new term? All fired up and ready to win the Quidditch Cup for Gryffindor again, I hope? Yeah, but right now I need to get to potions. Do you know a way around these security arrangements? But of course, just follow me. It'll be a pleasure to help out. At least potions isn't with Snape this year. I wonder what Slughorn's like. Thanks, Nick. We Gryffindors must stick together. Anytime you're stuck and need directions, advice, information, just call out and I'll help if I can. Of all the ghosts, Gryffindor get Nick. He couldn't even get his head cut off properly. He got us here, didn't he? Hey, my boy. I was beginning to worry. Sorry we're late, sir. And I'm afraid Ron and I haven't got books yet. <laughs> Not to worry. You can get what you need from over there. A simple little potion to ease us into the year, I think. Open up your books and let's get busy with a witch sharpening potion, shall we? Hermione? Um, which sharpening potion? We made it in our fourth year. Just do what I do. Armadillo Bile. some of this.
Let's add some of this. This is great. There are definitely days I could do with some of this. Miss Granger, Harry, well done, my boy. Well, now we have our juices flowing. Let us turn to the cure for boils. What's this one? Oh, Harry, it's a first-year potion. Have you forgotten all your revision? Hot little potion, this one. At least it is in the making of it. But be careful not to let things get too hot. A hole in your cauldron can be expensive and painful. You really are good at this, aren't you? Lobber worm mucus. Snake fangs, luckily powdered and no longer attached to the snake. Porcupine quills. Hey, someone's written a note on this. Red is for beginners. Heat until the potion goes pink. That's just a student's notes. It can't be the proper way to make it, or they would have printed it in the book. Yeah, but... Well, I'm going to try these notes. Very well, my boy. Aha! Not bad, not bad at all. My, 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 Harry. 
pink? Uh, yes. I must have... No, no, red is, of course, the basic potion. But pink, excellent. You have the makings of a master potion maker. You should be ready for something a little more complicated then, yes? Let us try the draft of living death. I told you to make it go pink. Sir, you haven't told us what's in that little golden bottle. Ah, what you see here is Felix Felicis, more commonly known as Liquid Luck. One sip and you will find all your endeavors succeed. And this I offer today to the student who brews an acceptable draft of living death, a small vial of liquid luck. So gather your ingredients, but keep your eyes on the clock. Good luck. I can whisper these notes to you. No, thank you. My instructions are perfectly adequate. Suit yourself. Sopophorus beans. Sloth brain. Miss Granger, now. Excellent, Harry. It's clear you've inherited your mother's talent. She was a dab hand at potions. But this? Here, as promised, one bottle of liquid luck. Use it well. Blimey, Harry. You've been doing Hermione and revising all summer. No, it's the textbook I borrowed. It's got notes all over it. I just followed their instructions. Huh? You don't need a potion to be lucky. I mean, I could have picked that book, but no. I get the one that looks like it's been puked on. Harry Potter? Look, he's not talking about the prophecy, he's not talking about the Daily Prophet, and he won't give you his autograph. So clear off, Pipsqueak. No! You've been invited to join the Gryffindor Julian Club in the Great Hall. Oh, right. Thanks, sorry. It's okay. Oh, Professor McGonagall said to tell you there's a shortcut to the Great Hall behind that portrait. The password is Libraries Liberate. Julian Club? You should be brilliant at that. All the DA members should. Let's go and see if any of them are joining. Libraries Liberate. 
And so they do, and so they do. Hi, Nick. We're on our way to the Great Hall. Jolly good. If you need a quicker route, you could use the shortcut behind the portrait of Basil Rothsack. It's locked. Ah, oh, right. Doors locked, is it? Just a moment. We could have just knocked. You couldn't open the door, could you? Ah, oh, thank you. That's awfully good of you. Thanks, Nick. Not at all. Anything I can do, just give me a yell. Anything. Anything at all. Hey, Nick, we're on our way to join the dueling club. Have fun and don't break the great hall with careless chicks. Looks like Angus Matlock is in charge. Let's ask him what we need to do. We got a message asking if we wanted to join the dueling club. Yeah, we need you, Harry. Dumbledore's restarted the dueling club and we don't want Slytherin to beat us. What do I need to do? Could you do a demonstration duel for us to help teach the others? Should be simple for you. You won't be fighting you know who, just another Gryffindor. Okay. Can we start with the basics? Cast Stupefy at Ron. Ready? On the count of three. Demonstrate the spell Stupefy. One, two, three, cast! Stupefy! Wow, it's an honour to watch you cast, Harry. You're brilliant. OK. Now, you first years, watch this. Harry's going to show us the most basic defence, dodging. Ron, you cast. Harry, you dodge his spells. Supervise! Nice one, Harry. Now, apart from dodging, there's... Oi! You! Pay attention! Listen up! We're going to move on to Expelliarmus. This spell is really useful if you want to finish a duel quickly. Harry, could you demonstrate it for us? Brilliant, Harry. Ready for a proper duel? OK, Ron. Now you can fight back. There will be three rounds. May the best duelist win. Come on, Harry. Let's show them how to duel. Ladies and gentlemen of Gryffindor, here dueling today, competing for a chance to join the Gryffindor dueling club. On the left, we have Ronald Weasley. Come on, Ron. On the right, the boy who lived, the boy who fought, he who must not be named. Is he the chosen one? The boy, the legend, Harry Potter! <laughs> Expelling armor! Stupefy! Stupefy!
We have a winner! Harry Potter! Well done, Harry. I am proud to welcome you to the Gryffindor Dueling Club. Come back and practice with us anytime you like. You can sign up for duels on the notice board. Hello, Harry. Dumbledore asked me to give this to you. How did you get in such a mess? We've been dueling. Well, honestly, it would only take you two seconds to straighten up afterwards. Dumbledore says he likes acid pops. Huh? It's the password. Dumbledore is going to give me private lessons this year. He'll probably want to teach you some really advanced defensive magic because of the prophecy. Come on, Ron. I'll help you with that defense against the dark arts homework. Uh, yeah, right. Nick? Nick? Well now, Harry, off to see Dumbledore, are we? I think he's in his office, though he has been away from the school rather a lot recently. Uh, acid pops. Good evening, Harry. You got my message, I see. What you see before you are memories. In this case, pertaining to one individual, Voldemort. This contains the memory of the day I first met him. I believe you're familiar with my pensive. This time, you enter the pensive with me, and even more unusually, with permission. And we shall see Tom Riddle as he was before he became Lord Voldemort. I had gone to offer him this place at Hogwarts. How do you do, Tom? You can do things, can't you, Tom? Things the other children can't. You can do magic. Is there anything in that box you ought not to have? He stole from the other children. And worse. We can learn much about Lord Voldemort from his past. A past that brought him to Hogwarts and a teacher he grew close to. Slughorn? Yes, Harry. Professor Slughorn likes the company of the famous, the successful and the powerful. He collects them. And you'd like him to collect me? Yes, Harry. Getting close to Professor Slughorn would be useful. Now, that is all for tonight. I shall tell you more soon. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Mischief managed. Hey, you losers from the Gryffindor loser team of... losers. That's imaginative. Did you think of that? Or did Malfoy? Let's see if you're laughing when your team tryouts go wrong, you losers. I heard a rumour Slytherin were going to try and sabotage our team selection. We better get to the Quidditch pitch before they do anything. The Auras have reopened all the grounds. Let's go through the clock tower. That should be the quickest way there. Come on, then. Have you decided how you're going to run the trials yet? Don't pick people just because they've been on the team before. That's the fastest way to spoil them. I hope Slytherin aren't up to anything. We need these trials to go well. I hope we get a good team this year. decided to close this again. Oh dear. How are you going to get to your Gryffindor trials? You shut this? Yeah. See you, losers. How are we going to get to Quidditch now? I think you'll have to fix the lever. Reparo should do the trick. Reparo!
Great! That'll show Goyle and the others. Wingardium Leviosa! Well done on raising the portcullis. If you need a shortcut, then come through here. Do you offer a shortcut to the Quidditch pitch? Not exactly. Just to the grand staircase. But I may come in handy later. Great. Thanks. If you need to use my shortcut again, just say Dashing Cadogan. Come on. Let's go to the Quidditch trials. How did you get through that portcullis, Potter? You were a bit stupid. Let's see you run your stupid Gryffindor trials when you've been stupefied. Now who's the loser, Goyle? Let's get to the pitch and make sure they didn't attack anyone else. Ready to try for Keeper, Weasley? Say, think you could introduce me to your friend Granger? Wouldn't mind uh, getting to know her on a first name basis. Know what I mean? Come on, Harry. We'd better go in and get started. Uh, right. Thanks for coming. This morning I'll be putting everyone through a series of challenges to select Gryffindor's Quidditch team. Uh, but know this just because you made the team last year does not guarantee you a spot this year. Oh, yeah? Does that include you too? Don't be dense. He's the captain. Doesn't mean he's still a good seeker, does it? Maybe he got injured fighting all those Death Eaters before summer. Maybe he's lost his edge. Go on, Harry. Show them how it's done. You put on a good enough show. I'll make McLaggen eat his bread.
Okay, that's three each. It comes down to this last shot. With that miss, McLagan stays at just three. Okay, Ron, you'll go. Make it a good one. Your sister didn't really try with that last shot. That was brilliant, Ron! You did brilliantly, Ron. First game is against Slytherin. Be ready. When's the first practice, Harry? Just look at the notice board. The practice sessions are on there. Did you see McLaggen? That last attempt was so bad, you'd think he'd been confounded. Well, he, uh... Hey, Hermione. Have you ever heard of the spell Sectum Sempra? No. This isn't from that potions book, is it? Yeah, and I found some writing at the back. It says the book is the property of the Half-Blood Prince. I've never heard of him. You should turn that book in. Don't be mental. It's brilliant. 